My name is Claire Frankel, and today we are looking at Norman Rockwell's oil on canvas painting, Rosie the Riveter, which is displayed proudly in Crystal Bridges, a Museum of American Art in Northwest Arkansas. In 1942, only a year before Rockwell's Rosie the Riveter appeared on the front cover of the Memorial Day edition of the Saturday Evening Post, J. Howard Miller presented a woman with her hair pulled back in a bandana, rolling up her sleeves, saying, We can do it. Both artists are influencing the same idea. Women can do the jobs that the men fighting in World War II had left behind. Rosie wears both goggles and a shield on her head. While it is very unlikely that she had jobs in aviation, welding, and riveting, the equipment proves that she is capable of any task that comes her way. At first glance, the shield, which is propped above her head so she can eat her sandwich, almost looks like a halo. Rockwell is casually expressing Rosie's angelic duty in the war. For because of her, men are able to fight in the battle. Rosie's identical stance to Michelangelo's Isaiah, painted on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, is no coincidence. God called upon Isaiah to trample the wicked. Rosie, in Rockwell's painting, is doing just that. Her loafers are firmly planted on Adolf Hitler's memoir. However, unlike Isaiah, Rosie holds a sandwich. The iconography of food represents the domestic life Rosie belonged to before the war. In Rockwell's painting, there is a juxtaposition between masculine and feminine. If the viewer was only looking from the waist down, the only clue that the figure is a woman is the penny loafers. It was not until July 1943 that boots with steel toes were made for women. However, the top half of the figure all points towards womanly. Rosie has a button nose, slight blush and lipstick on, and her fingernails are clad with polish. If you look closely, you can even see a compact mirror and handkerchief pointing out of her pocket. Her biceps, which are a main focus of Rockwell's painting, are muscular and dirty. It's almost like Rosie is saying, yeah. Are you surprised my lipstick didn't stop me from working? I chose this painting to study because as a woman, looking at Rosie, I feel empowered. It is almost as if Rosie is standing above the whole world, even though she is sitting. She is peering down, her shoulders relaxed, confident, even though she is in a man's world, wearing men's clothing, working with what society considered men's equipment. World War II is over now. But Rockwell's painting of Rosie is still a huge influence on women today, as we strive for equality in the workplace and equal pay. The inspiration tied with Rosie the Riveter will never be forgotten. All the day long, with the rain or shine, she's a part of the assembly line. She's making history, working for victory. Rosie. The Riveter keeps a sharp lookout for sabotage Sitting up there on the fuselage That little friend can do more than a man can do Rosie! The Riveter, Rosie got a boyfriend, Charlie Charlie, he's a Marine Rosie is protecting Charlie Working overtime on the riveting machine When they gave her a production